Following last week's sitting where IEBC was tasked to explain how the country donated EV kits to Burundi, the Parliamentary Accounts Committee continued with its inquiry, with focus now shifting to the hefty presidential petition that saw over 2 billion shillings pocketed by lawyers. So, so then, who, how do you determine that? The PAC Committee also wanted to find out why the electoral body settled on the Canadian farm Safran Mofo, while there were other farms which were affordable. So then, who, how do you determine that taxpayers got value for their money? And even then, what informed, you may not know that, but what informed the initial arrangement to get into contact with Safran Mufu? Changing this and retaining this farm during a five-year period, isn't it true then that you are pre-contracting because you could not then change in the period of five years? Wasn't it a way of locking out everybody else? Because once you have the maintenance agreement, I mean, you must really retain the same company. For all other purposes, that's my understanding. IEBC was to request. So uh, the argument that uh, it was not mandatory for IEBC to request this, uh, 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 to request saffron, um, it's also not uh, well valid, Mr. Chair, from a technical point of view. Uh, it does not hold water because if you look at the terms and conditions of, 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 of the contract and the solution provided, provided, Mr. Chair, it's got a lot more to do with the proprietary rights of the system that we have than anything else. The details of the contract between IABC and Safran Mofo, in which IABC has no powers to terminate taking center stage. Where did the commission first award the contract? Maybe I did not hear that one, Chair. Well, you... Uh, not uh, confirmed about the availability of funds. So did you include that in your procurement plan? At the end of the day, from where you sit, do you think taxpayers, the Kenyan taxpayers, got value for their money in the absence of any other costs to compare with? And more importantly, now that you've been in the commission for all this time, is Safran more for the only credible supplier of this system, or well, there are others. So it cannot be a sufficient explanation to say that because the Act allows, you came to the list that Parliament has and extracted from it. Because that opens the biggest window of any, avenue, you will ask this law firm and ask them, are you listed in any public entity? And then they tell you, then you go to them and tell them, now give me your list. That is an avenue and a window of misuse. And for me, that particular explanation I would not accept. The report by the Auditor General indicates that millions of shillings were paid to lawyers. The committee sought to find out what policy is used in determining what to pay who. In such a complex system, Mr. Chair, you cannot work without the support of the supplier of that particular system. Mr. Chair, must you go with the five years? One of the reasons that informed the, 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 the cancellation of the original tender, you realize that it was one year. And from the time we had had the, exp the warranty, from the time the, there was the initial requisition in mm -hmm. January 2014, after the time the tender committee awarded the initial tender, it had taken 18 months. Yeah. So, which means during that particular period, we do not have maintenance. maintenance. Yeah. The list suggests that any average case in which an advocate was instructed the average payment was 4.5 million. Some go up to 5.5 million, some come down to 1 million. And so the first point to note is that is, there's an irration, irrationality and difficulty of understanding why you'd pay one matter, which is in Nairobi, 5.5 million in the High Court, and another matter in the High Court in Kisi, only 1.2 million. So I think we need to know from the Commission what is the policy of determining how much to pay the lawyers. In the next sitting, IEBC is required to provide letters from the head of public service and the attorney general. The IEBC claimed that the two authorized the transfer of EVID kits for free to Burundi for elections. Then at the time is uh, a direct procurement. Mr. Chair, I, I